So let's have a look at the Tello EDU app. So I'm going to use this, even though I'm using the Tello drone, you don't need to use the EDU drone to use the EDU app. So just a reminder that I have drone number eight and tablet number eight and making sure that they're matching. Now, if I go into settings, I have already set it up so that the drone should be connecting automatically to SheMap08. So we're having a look there and it's come up and said it's connected, which is great. So I'm now going to open Tello EDU. Now, the reason that I'm using the Tello EDU app as opposed to the Tello app for this is because in a classroom setting, if you want to be using multiple drones at once, the Tello app by itself isn't very good. Now, we've found that we can use two to three drones at once using the Tello app before we get Wi-Fi interference. And we believe that this is because the, the video on the Tello is taking up so much bandwidth. So the Tello EDU app doesn't access the video. So that could be a problem for you, but it does mean that you can get multiple drones up at once. So let's go into the controller here. So if I just tap on this, now what you can see up in the upper left hand side is that we're gonna have a look at which drone this is connected to. Now you notice that we actually have to move quite quickly because the drone turns itself off if we don't get into the app quickly enough. And that's just what happened there. So um, it's resyncing and hopefully this is going to pop up now. And what I'm going to do is on the left hand side up the top here, I can tap on that and now it's just connected in there. So this is the same for using the app with iOS or with Android like I'm using here today. So this is the screen that you can use to manually fly the drone. You've got the left hand side, which is going to control your altitude up and down and also your yaw left and right. And on the right hand side, you're able to move forward back and roll to the left and right. So I recommend teaching the students to fly first with their right hand and then their left hand combined. Now the things that you probably want to take care of is that you can have a look at the speed here. So this one says the speed is set at 30. I can guarantee you that some students are going to want to change that speed up and move it to 100. So I think it's a good one for you to practice with so you know what the speed is going to be if they go to top speed and it's not that bad. Now you can also see what's just happened there. It's again timed out and it's turned itself off. So I'll just turn, it that, turn that back on and you should see that it pops up with a connection up there as well. So again, just a reminder to move quite quickly. Now, the other thing you probably want to be aware of is students that might change this mode one and mode two, which is up on the upper right hand side. And this can be a little bit inconvenient as well because that will change around what the left and right hand controllers are doing. So just something to be aware of as to what's happening there. Now, when we just click in here, we double check to make sure it is SheMap08, which is great because that's what our tablet is and that's what our drone is as well. So all happy with that. And then I would be happy to get the students to take off at this point.